Good morning, another beautiful day in God's kingdom. Today we're taking a look at the book of Deuteronomy and we're in chapter 23. Let's read what it says from verse 21. When you make a vow to the Lord your God, be prompt in fulfilling whatever you've promised him. For the Lord your God demands that you promptly fulfill all your vows or you'll be guilty of sin. However, it is not a sin to refrain from making a vow. But once you have voluntarily made a vow, be careful to fulfill your promise to the Lord your God. You know, and as we look at this, I mean, you can just think about how many broken promises that we have all around us. Maybe broken promises that you yourself have made. Well, God is saying here, listen, before you make a promise to God, be very sure that it is something that you can do. Um, you know, because God takes us at our word. And of course, God expects us. Why, why is that? Because God expects us. God expects us to take him as his word. The Bible says that God remains faithful even when we are faithless. God remains true to his word. And he wants us to be like him as well. That's why the Bible says we're created in his own image, you know. And so, it. and I want to say that it's not only the promises that we make to God. The promises that we make to God are very vital. It says you'll be guilty of sin. Sin if you break those promises but what about the promises we make to one another what about the things that we say to one another you know we, we we are all around us we see people who are suffering from broken hearts because people have jilted them uh, made them promises and they've not kept to those promises and yet and, and it's because when you make a promise to somebody you that that person has an expectation that that thing is already sorted that thing is going to be done and so when you, when you do not fulfill that promise you let that person down but not not only do you let them down, you also create a vacuum because what they were thinking was going to be done, you know, is not done. And so you leave them disappointed. So let's be people of our word. And as I speak it, I speak it also to myself, you know, that we should be people of our word. When we say something, we're going to do it. Let's go ahead and do it. And the Lord help us, you know, to keep our promises. God bless you. Have a beautiful day.